In this video tutorial we are going to discuss about anterolateral abdominal muscles. The muscles of the anterolateral abdominal wall can be divided into two main groups. Flat muscles, there are three flat muscles namely from exterior to interior are the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis, which are situated laterally on either side of the abdomen. Vertical muscles, two vertical muscles namely rectus abdominis and pyramidalis, situated near the midline of the body. Now let's discuss in details about each of these muscles one by one. Flat muscles. There are three flat muscles located laterally in the abdominal wall, lying upon one another. Their fibers run in differing directions and cross each other, strengthening the wall and decreasing the risk of abdominal contents herniating through the wall. In the anteromedial aspect of the abdominal wall, each flat muscle forms an aponeurosis this white part of muscle is aponeurosis which is a broad flat tendon, which covers the vertical rectus abdominis muscle lying beneath it. The aponeuroses of all the flat muscles become attached in the midline, forming the linea alba this midline white structure is linea alba, a fibrous structure that extends from the xiphoid process of the sternum to the pubic symphysis. External oblique The external oblique is the largest and most superficial flat muscle in the abdominal wall. Its fibers run inferomedially. In this direction. Attachments, it originates from ribs 5 to 12 and inserts into the iliac crest and pubic tubercle of the hip bone. Functions, contralateral rotation of the trunk. trunk flexion, and trunk lateral rotation. Innervation, nerve supply of this muscle is via thoracoabdominal nerves, T7 T11, and subcostal nerve, T12. The next muscle is internal oblique. The internal oblique lies deep to the external oblique. It is smaller and thinner in structure, with its fibers running superomedially perpendicular to the fibers of the external oblique. Attachments, they originates from the inguinal ligament, iliac crest, and lumbodorsal fascia, and inserts into ribs 10 to 12. Functions, trunk flexion and lateral rotation. Innervation, nerve supply of this muscle is via thoracoabdominal nerves, T7 T11, subcostal nerve, T12, and branches of the lumbar plexus. The next muscle is transversus abdominis. The transversus abdominis is the deepest of the flat muscles, with transversely running fibers. Deep to this muscle is a well-formed layer of fascia, known as the transversalis fascia. This is its aponeurosis. Attachments, they originates from the inguinal ligament, costal cartilages 7 to 12, the iliac crest and thoracolumbar fascia. Inserts into the CONJ ointment tendon, xiphoid process, linea alba, and the pubic crest. 
functions, flexion of the trunk compressing the abdominal contents. Innervation, nerve supply of this muscle is by thoracoabdominal nerves, T7 T11, subcostal nerve, T12, and branches of the lumbar plexus. These are the flat muscles of the anterolateral wall of abdomen. Now let's discuss the vertical muscles of anterolateral abdominal wall. There are two vertical muscles located in the midline of the anterolateral abdominal wall, the rectus abdominis and pyramidalis. Rectus abdominis The rectus abdominis is long, paired muscle, found either side of the midline in the abdominal wall. It is split into two by the linea alba. This white midline structure is linea alba. The lateral borders of the muscles create a surface marking known as the linea semilunaris. These horizontal white lines are linea semilunaris. At several places, the muscle is intersected by fibrous strips, known as tendinous intersections. The tendinous intersections and the linea alba give rise to the six-pack seen in individuals with a well-developed rectus abdominis. Attachments, they originates from the crest of the pubis, before inserting into the xiphoid process of the sternum and the costal cartilage of ribs 5 to 7. Functions, they assisting the flat muscles in compressing the abdominal viscera, the rectus abdominis also stabilizes the pelvis during walking, and depresses the ribs. Innervation their nerve supply is by thoracoabdominal nerves, T7 to T11. The last is pyramidalis muscle. This is a small triangular muscle, found superficially to the rectus abdominis. It is located inferiorly, with its base on the pubis bone, and the apex of the triangle attached to the linea alba. Attachments originates from the pubic crest and pubic symphysis before inserting into the linea alba. Functions, it acts to tense the linea alba. Innervation, its nerve supply is by subcostal nerve, T12.